water, easy to take for granted on this damp island, but today a focus of national debate. The government urging water companies to hold prices down. Yeah. No surprise that this group of young mums agrees. I do two loads of washing a day, and I've had to start bathing him with me to save on water. I'm in debt with water at the moment, paying it, and it's, it is a struggle. A struggle ministers insist they understand. All politicians keen to be seen to be doing something. I'm looking to water companies to minimum keep their prices level and I expect some to reduce their prices. With rain never far from the forecast, it can be hard to see why water is becoming such a big deal. But the challenge is not collecting the stuff, but treating it and then moving it safely into and out of our homes. Infrastructure like this desalination plant costs millions. Fixing leaks is also a huge expense. In the next few weeks, water prices will be set for years to come. Still, the industry's message is one of reassurance. Consumers shouldn't be worried at all. Prices have remained stable quite relatively over the last 10, 15 years, and they'll continue to remain stable in the next 5 to 10 years as well. For many of us, water meters are now the norm charging for what we use rather than the old flat rate. Here in the southern region, soon there will be a meter for every home. Lynn says she hears plenty of concerns from her clients about the rising cost of living. All the time, gas, electric, water, food. It's all part of the same yeah, picture really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So all the grumbles, isn't it? Yes. Ultimately, what we pay for water will depend on where we live and how much we use. Jeremy Cook, BBC News, Hampshire.